don't play around with your relationship with God, guys. Let me tell you, this life, this life, this life. The way God shows up for me, though, gives me the courage, gives me the peace, gives me the joy to take on my life, guys, with Him, knowing that He's by my side every minute, every second. The way He's showing up for me has just been amazing. This weekend was just like a God-filled weekend of God winks, and I just want to tell you guys quickly about them. So yesterday I was talking to a friend and I was just telling her how a particular x-ray machine that I didn't believe the results of it. So I said, that, that x-ray machine was no good. Boo. So after I got off the phone with her, I go and I open up this book. And look how big the book is, guys. And I open up directly to this page, guys. And it's talking about an x-ray machine and it's not perfect. Can you guys do that? Exactly what I just told my friend in the conversation on the phone. So that right there, guys, was just a little glimmer of God's presence to let me know that his presence is always, always, always with me. Say, like, Nick, you're right. That x-ray machine was no good. <laughs> and that just gives me the peace, you know, knowing that God is with me. So I don't want you guys to miss out on this closeness with God. I want this to be our strongest year ever. Even uh, a message from Carrie, my God influencer, the number 311 kept showing up all over the place for me. So I went to Carrie's message for March 11, the 311, and exactly the conversation I was having with my brother Kevin the day before was about tough love. And the very message that Carrie preached about was tough love. Like, yes, we're going to be these loving people, but at the same time, some people you're going to leave with God. Like some people, you know, it's nothing that we can do. So the only thing we can do is be obedient to God and just leave some people alone, like set them free and let God be God, <laughs> you know? And that was just so many messages from God to me. And then yes, on Saturday, I was asking one of our mechanics if he had his appointment with God. And he told me he read John 3:16 for God so loved the world that he, you know, that, that particular verse. And I went back to him afterwards and I said, my favorite part is that it says, Whoever believes in him shall not perish. And we just ended up having this great conversation about believing in God and just knowing that he's with you, he's for you, he's by your side, that he's going to be going through life with you. He's our shepherd. He's going to lead us along the path that are going to lead us to the best life, you know. And that very day, a customer came in, and I was so in love with this customer. You're just speaking to me from God. So I ended up on his Facebook wall, and I just was going through all of his posts on Facebook and of all things guys he did a video about this same john 316 and how the person next to jesus on the cross even though he never went to church or he he lived this disaster of a life he still went to heaven with with jesus you know and it just said that we have to believe you know and it's just the same exact thing that i said that whoever believes you know like my very conversation with our staff that day showed up on this reel that he shared on his face about somebody that i never met before it was just another glimmer guys another glimmer of god's presence with us and so i don't want you guys to miss out i don't want to be this peaceful by myself i don't want to be filled with joy by myself you know this life is tough but god gives us the perspective to take on our lives the best way possible if we could get to know him know his voice know when he's speaking to us be obedient to him every moment, every second, focusing on him. God, what is it you would have me to do? God, what would you have me to say? Where would you have me to go or not go or not say or not do? Just a life completely, completely walking with God, guys. And I promise you, it's the best life. So don't miss out. Best life with God. Peace.